Well, I'm kind of freaking out right now. I just landed on a big deal. I've been dealing in soda related stuff for 25 or 26 years now. And I heard about this guy having this RC plant. And he said I could come over and check it out. So here I am checking it out. And I, he's, I asked him if anybody has ever come here and asked to buy any of these bottles already. And he says, well, some guy came over with a giant truck and said he would take them all. And I said, well, what do you mean? Just for free? And he said, yeah. So I said, well, how about letting me have the rest of them for free? And there they are. And I said, well, that's quite a heavy load there. I don't think I can handle it, but I'll take as many as I can get for today, and I'll be back later. So even though they're nothing super rare, it's just 1970s and 80s kind of stuff, there are some decent things like these chocolate soldiers. I don't mind taking these kind of things for free. And the wooden crates, although a lot of them are damaged from the rain leaking on them over the years. But moving these around, I don't know. It's going to be a difficult job and I'll probably have to come back again in a few weeks. A lot of single common 7-ups here, but it's kind of an overwhelming job here. I can only stay for about an hour and a half and gather what I can. But it'll be fun. Back here at the Hamlet Horde. This is where the RC Bottling Company used to be. And I got all these thousands of crates. Well, there's at least 1,000 crates and 24,000 bottles. I just made a dent in it last time. I took 55 crates and about 200 bottles. But now the guy doesn't want to give them to me for free anymore. So me and my partners offered him $1,000 for everything. And he decided to take it. But as you can see, there's piles 10 feet high. So I'm kind of overwhelmed. I don't know, this might take two or three days for several people helping. Well, at least there's some Pepsi cases in here. Some 7-ups and plenty of RCs. Too bad it's so dark in here. Looks like one of the piles fell over. There's a nice looking crate. Another pile fell over. It's kind of a disaster area. Guess we waited too long. Of course I only found out about it 10 days ago and somebody else came here 10 years ago and got most of them already. So there was actually maybe as many as a hundred thousand bottles here. Well, that's it for now. I'll show you the progress later. This is seventy-five thousand, and seventy-five would be one hundred and fifty, and then it would be at least three three hundred thousand, if not more. And then if it came out here, that would make six hundred thousand bottles which really is quite interesting and he bought the property and the guy gave him 600,000 bottles yeah yeah and uh okay I'm here with Scott Barry and we have gone through only one-fourth of the crates and bottles so far 
and some of the better ones we've set over here. What a find! We found 75,000 bottles <laughs> and 3,000 crates. Of course, it might have found them. Some of the bottles were stacked 14 feet high, wrapped in plastic. Well, I'm back with my second load of the better quality crates. I got some plastic ones, but just a very few. There's a couple of pretty good ones. There's a knee high, but the paint's pretty worn off. Some sun drops. So of all of those 2,500 crates that I went through, this is the very best one of them all. It's the Mountain Dew, and this one is, is about as perfect as you're ever going to imagine seeing one in. Here's the other side. Perfect paint. It's very tight. It's got the 24 sections. They're all intact. No chips. It's an absolutely perfect specimen. So that's going in my collection, unless somebody wants to give me $150 for it. Well, I'm back home with the third load of crates. Got about 155 of them in here. And here's some more of them, and I'm getting ready to take them all out and wash every one of them inside and out. Well, I got a 55 gallon drum full of soapy water here. Rubbing the bottom just to get the dirt out of them. That is the dirtiest part of the inside of the bottom. And I clean the inside walls too. I've got them drying in the sun now. So hopefully they'll look a lot better. Here's a few interesting ones. This is the 7 Up crate on both sides, but it's really a Mountain Dew crate that's been painted over so that's kind of a shame because a Mountain Dew crate is worth about 10 times as much here's a Mountain Dew crate that was painted over and turned into a Pepsi crate you can see a little bit of the blue and yellow I scraped a lot of it off with my thumbnail there's the classic yellow and red coke crate and then it's been sent off to be repaired and they put a red panel on it. Well, now that you've seen most of them, uh, if you want any of them, just let me know. I'll put my contact information on the screen for you.